Welcome to Cool InDesign from The Electric Artist. Today we're going to look at some quick and dirty image placement. We start with a standard template from uh, InDesign. Now this actually came with the program. Now what we want to do, this area here, we want to put some images and we want them to be the same size and all touching. Um, just a block of images in this little space here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw all our boxes first. To start with we draw a box. We draw it approximately how big we want it. It doesn't have to be exactly right at this stage. It doesn't matter what colour it is, doesn't matter um, whether it's got an outline. I've actually set it to be white with no outline. Um, what does matter though is that we, our height is an exact figure. Now because I've drawn it we've got three decimal places in our height so what I do is I go up here, uh, I select the height in, in the height box and I'll make it something exact, in this case about 28 mils. But again it doesn't matter how high it is so long as it's, a, it's, it's an easy to remember figure. Okay. We then come to our object transform menu and move. The reason we wanted to know the height is because we're going to set these figures here to move it exactly the height except down below. Now we'll set the vertical to 28 mils, okay, horizontal is nothing, and we set it to copy, okay. Now we've got two, and they are exactly touching, they are exactly flush, they are exactly aligned, and they're exactly the same size. When we go back up to our object menu, we can go transform again and you'll notice that it says alt control 3 just remember this come back down alt control 3 we've made a third one and again and again okay now we have our five boxes all aligned all touching all perfect next thing we do is we select them all but they're all selected the next thing we do is we group them object group that is now one object okay move it around it's just one object this is when we resize it okay I want it aligned to the top I can drag it and align it to the bottom and all of those boxes have resized proportionately and they're all still touching and they're all still aligned put it in the position I can adjust the width I can actually use specific figures if I want to um, or I can just do it visually in this case I'm just doing it visually but now all my boxes are there I ungroup it. I've now got my five boxes all ready to take the images. Now here's the fun part. In the olden days I would have my images here, I would have the dimensions of them, I would now have to go back to Photoshop and resize all of my images to go in here to the exact dimensions and the exact resolution that I want them to be. But we're outputting this to PDF and one of the major advantages of PDF is that it will downsample oversized over images and it will crop them to the frame. Um, that is the key here. That is really, really cool. Before we can go on and bring our images in though, they have to be the right resolution. I need them to be the resolution that I want them to be finished at, which is 300 dpi. So we'll open up Photoshop and we'll open up the first of my images. Now these are my images that I want in those boxes. We'll open up the first one it's the butterfly and we will see that it's quite a good image look down here it's nine megabytes uh, for a little photo like that that's that's more than enough grunt but if I look at the image size I will see it is really really huge um, but only 72 dpi that's not good enough make sure that the resample image is switched off so we're not actually going to be changing the image at all just how close the pixels are going to be together we'll change the resolution to 300 you'll notice that the size has now come down and then we can save it we haven't changed the image all we have done is altered the resolution of the final now I'm saving it in JPEG here just for, um, for ease uh, of use at this stage it's no major deal um, <clears throat> we do that to all the rest of our images, all five of them, so they're all 300. And then we come back to InDesign. Okay, click on the first box, 
go file place okay or control D or <coughs> right, click on our butterfly and we bring it in here it is it's coming it's at 300 dpi right now there are two things that we need to look at here first of all the image is much bigger than the box at 300 dpi so any resampling is going to be down not up that's a good thing the second thing is we come over here to the direct selection arrow that's the white arrow below your normal arrow and we click on it and it actually shows us the size of the image where it is inside that box if I move over here you can see if I hold down shift while I resize I can resize it within the box I can move it around within the box I can crop it this is where I do my cropping my sizing my setting it up how I want it to be Let's zoom in a little you can see there's the image within the box okay move it around work out exactly how where I want it to sit and how big I want it to be um, I would, don't have to worry about the fact that it's going to be something like about 1200 dpi or something in the final output because the PDF is going to resample that down to my final resolution okay so we move on to the next box click on the box do the um, place bring in the next image once again this one is far too big we zoom out and we'll see that it's massive but that doesn't matter okay we'll give it a sh we'll shrink it down to roughly the size we want it and then we'll move on to the next one bring in the next image and this one is also huge these are massive images for the tiny little photograph space that we're using shrink that one down click on the next box bring in the next image and we'll see this one is nowhere near as big as the others but it is still bigger than the box which is fine if it was to come in smaller then the image isn't really big enough for this particular um, setup now this one is a special problem because it's a portrait image and it's a landscape box but we'll deal with that in a minute all right now we'll zoom in on each one we'll deal with each box as it as it is again using the direct selection tool we can resize it we notice that the car in this particular one doesn't fit okay it doesn't all fit in the in the in the box so what I may do is I might actually make it bigger and move it around and we'll just take the front of the car that's probably a bit more dramatic okay click off there move down to the, the, the piece of lettuce that's not a this is more of a texture it's not a major deal um, see if I shrink it down too much there's white on the box showing so I've got to cover up that white just decide where I want that one okay move it down to the swimmer click on him move him over now how is he gonna fit we will probably center him I think he's probably better to be centered that's a bit more dramatic alright and finally we have our tennis player now she is too tall can't fit can't fit the whole thing in so I've got to decide where am I going to crop her see this is a lot easier to crop on the page than it is in Photoshop I'll bring the sides and right so right to the edge so I've I've got my full width and then basically it's moving it up and down now I've got some of the racket and the face and I think that's probably enough okay um, I'll then go into a preview mode which gets rid of all of the lines and all the other bits and pieces and, and crops it at the page size zoom out and have a look and there are my boxes no no joins no visible uh, problems all lined up all perfect now I could do this whole thing in a matter of just a couple of minutes okay a lot faster than than trying to line up boxes enjoy if you want to see more tutorials on graphics programs visit electricartist.com if you want to learn more about computer graphics and graphic design visit learncomputergraphics.com